let's go and explore by clicking on any of these colors it gives you on the color wheel exactly what's being chosen in fact let's go right over here and look at the sliders I'm gonna to switch to the sliders look at this okay as I make adjustments to my sliders what I'm doing is I'm adding colors add more red add less red if I take out red that leaves us with almost a greenish blue effect more green less green take out the green it leaves us with our blue now notice as I bring the slider up and down it's giving us the pure saturation of that color and as we bring it down it's taking us to the various 256 shades of gray until it becomes absolute black okay so that's how you read these here it's giving you various densities of any very any combination of this red green and blue focusing our attention on the sliders again I can choose any color on the color picker to be applied to the slider for example if I decide to go over here and get a kind of a purplish color and click and drag and get some variation of that color and if I hold the controller command key down and click on it it will be applied directly to this and and that will be the same for the other sliders as well let's go ahead and put one here and let's grab like a yellow so to speak grab that and control click and it's there now if I want any of these colors inside here, matter of fact, let's go ahead and mix it. Let's mix this up. Let's let's bring this one down. Let's bring that up like so. Maybe bring that to right about there. And if I choose to say, hey, you know what? I see how this is working. I'm mixing these colors with the foreground color that I have here. But I want that foreground color to actually become any one of these variations, okay, individually. So hold your Alt or Option key and click, and right there the foreground color becomes that particular variation of color okay so I hope that you um, are getting an idea of of how you can handle color use it to um, create various combinations in your particular designs and I want to share with you how to basically add more colors to the library here. If right up here I have a little C button represents clear. If I go ahead and click that one, it's going to clear my color and it's going to give you show you everything that you have listed or all of your color libraries that are listed in this system. So hit the plus system and I have a various color libraries which are actually pretty fun. Look, crayons, testers, paints, color temperatures. Hey, let's take a look at the testers uh, paints real quick those, those colors actually bring back memory of when I was using these to paint my model cars and and model starships and and so forth and over here Benjamin Moore classic colors okay and we'll take a look at those and and get an idea of what we're dealing with here and you know what I believe we have um, Pantone colors right down in here. If I select it, here are my Pantone colors. All right, now how do I get these in here? Because these colors actually do not come default with Jovian. You need to go get them and import them into your system. All right, it's very simple. Come over here to import, and I place those libraries actually in a particular folder on, on my external hard drive and here they are okay I can go to this folder here Jovian color libraries which is JCL Jovian color libraries I'm gonna go back here here's my color temperatures my crayons and of course they're all going to be loaded right here in this particular system so if you want to add more libraries simply go to Jovian's website let's go ahead and and click OK and let's go to the website and go to libraries link right here on the top of the page and you have a list of various libraries that um, you will see that you can be applied to Jovian directly okay definitely download this one here for the palettes this is your zip file this should come with your with Jovian automatically these others do not so explore here and um, I think you're going to have a, a real blast with the, using this program. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. 
and I'm going to do a more extensive video on the use of Jovian Color Picker um, for more practical situations. So until then, um, check back on my website for more videos at chromeillusion.com. Simply select the tutorials link and you'll get to see a variety of uh, videos or free presentations that I've provided for you here in Photoshop and Jovian will also be listed here as well. Uh, additional Jovian files will be listed here as well. Okay, so um, I look forward to working with you again. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.